Hi, I'm back and I just wanted to show you a couple things. Now this is another Daylily uh, um, piece that I've been doing, pretty much the same design. On this one though, I went ahead and did all the petals uh, yellow with three of the petals um, have the accent in the middle like a Daylily. So um, for this one, I've already done the inside and now I'm doing actually filling in the background, the blue background. So I wanted to kind of continue on. So as you can see here, I'm skipping a row right there, chose it a little bit clearer, and I'm gonna go right back into the hole that I was um, stopped at. Uh, so we're gonna punch down, keep going up. And the one thing I wanted to show you on this, we're gonna actually just show you me punching and then I'm gonna pull it out and show you something else. So let's say I'm in the piece, in this piece or another piece, and I wanted to change colors or, or um, I just didn't like it and I wanted to pull it out. So I would pull it back to, let's say this far, and you're gonna say, well, Am I going to just waste this? If I'm just continuing on, I wanted to do a better job. No, you're not going to waste it. What you want to do is you're going to go backwards into your punch hook and come back in here and go ahead and put it through the loop here, metal loop, and then keep pulling it back. Um, and this kind of is where I have the whole get an old credit card idea. Um, put it in, and this works well for um, your number 10 also to really, that really need help getting it back in. So I've gotten it back in, and I'm at the place where I want to punch again. So I'm going to keep going. Just wanted to show you that because I don't think I've showed that before where what do you do if you pull out a part of your design, you don't like it, and but uh, and you want to go another way. So that's helpful for that. So let's go ahead and push this down. And let's see what's going on on the back side. The front side, I'm sorry, front side. So we have a lot of stuff going on here, and we want to... Take um, your scissors, or I have this type of scissors, a little bit different. They have a, if you can buy these at a lot of the wool shops and you can cut it off more flush. But the nice thing about this one too is you can rub your piece and that will bring up some of the um, ends that maybe you couldn't get it up before. So, that's what we do with the fine end also with the regular punches, the regular uh, rug wool. All right, and here's an example of, that I thought was good, is an example of a loop that's been punched into another loop. So obviously you take your, um, I have to move this around so you can see this, you take your wool and just push it back like that and it will unloop it. So I'll be cutting these off and when you do finish, some you you when you see, see in the instructions about poking, it means moving your design around to what you like better. Uh, especially when you have just like a dot for an eye and something like that. This one's sticking up more. So that that's what poking's all about, poking things down. Another thing that happens is sometimes you uh, have a, a really tall loop um, that won't, you can't figure out how to get it down because you've tried pulling on other loops. To, that one's bringing it down there, but you pull on the adjacent loops to bring it down. Sometimes that doesn't work and just go ahead and uh, cut it flush and that will be fine. All right, well, there are some tips for you today. I hope you enjoyed them and happy punching. Thank you.